Hello everybody, UK Prepper Man here again and I hope you're well. Um, here in the East Midlands the weather is nice, we've had a lovely day today, there's been no rain and the temperature's gone up a bit since yesterday. When we arrived it was uh, a little bit on the cold side, there was very little cloud cover. Um, last night was a little bit on the, on the nippy side so we're all wrapped up. Um, today a bit more clouds, been a bit more breezy but uh, by the same token uh, the temperature's gone up a little bit. So uh, it's tea time. Um, all really hungry we've been out and about today so uh, I'm doing some gonna be doing some pasta and I'm gonna be cooking it on our uh, little camp stove which is the Coleman F1 uh, bought it with me because I thought gas was a bit more practical um, I have bought some of my other kit as well so I say it's absolutely pointless in buying the stuff and never using it so uh, um, I bought my uh, hex stove along I bought the gel fuel along uh, the fire dragon um, we can have a little play around with stuff and uh, I'll see if I get a few videos on the go but as I say this is all about family time what we call reset time so uh, this is what we need anybody who does uh, uh, you know, works in an office you can feel cooped up and there's nothing better than getting outdoors MTP jacket classic example you know I spend a lot of my time working in an urban environment and if you're walking around wearing this sort of stuff you're going to turn a few heads truth is when you're out in the countryside you'll probably still turn a few heads but uh, at least you could justify wearing it as I said the colour is quite a good match for the uh, the woodland that we're in at the moment so I bought a load of kit down with me probably way way too much more kit than we actually need but uh, it gives an opportunity to try some stuff out we've already found a couple of things um, that we've bought that we've actually needed because um, the arrangements that we had had changed and I suppose that's a little bit what being uh, prepared is all about so uh, um, I'm going to do a few videos as well for you, um, I say it's been a while since I've done one and uh, I'm going to see you soon, but anyway, I need a brew, so I'll see you shortly, we'll get a coffee on the go, get the pasta on the go, we'll catch up in a bit, take care guys, see you in a bit. Alright guys, come inside, brew on the go there, oh lovely, it's just what you need. Tell you what, if guys are on the subject of coffee, if you get a chance, go into a place called B&M um, &M Home Stores. So we've got some coffee in there, it's absolutely fantastic, 89p as well, they're cheap. Right guys, before I start, I've started getting it out already, but this is the uh, the Coleman stove that uh, was purchased, it comes in a little bag, um, which is quite nice, I mean I keep mine, I'll be honest with you, I keep it in the mess tin, um, we've got a twin set of mess tins, it just keeps it a little bit more protected. But as I say, I mean, most people have seen these sort of things before, it's very very small, it just comes complete of two things, and um, we've got this, the stand and the burner and a little attachment with the... Uh, the washer that goes into the canister so all you need to do to put these things together um, is just to spin it out you've got a little uh, I'm trying to do this without looking at the camera I'll tell you what right bother posing at the camera right you can't see me anyway you're not missing anything guys you don't see my face um, but uh, just screw that on there you, you pull those out until they're the right spread out just tighten the burner down there's a little notch on there you just make sure that you get to the appropriate one in make sure that's tightened up and all we're using with this one is we're using uh, Coleman Performance. They changed the branding on these, um, which might throw a few people. They changed the uh, the codings and all sorts. Um, we just bought this bad boy with us. It's a 300. I know you can get smaller ones. You also get a bit bigger. It's got a self sealer on there, little little uh, one in there, so you can reuse them. All you do, just screw it on. Make sure you try not to th you don't thread it. That would be uh, not very good at all. Get it nice and tight. Super duper. Yeah, you've got your own shot there. So here we have it. Big tin. Ah, check it out. This pasta's great. It's about 80p from uh, uh, Lidl, I think it is, but you can get to. Uh, let me just pull you out a little bit there. Um, there we go. See you all right there. <laughs> Oops, there we go. A little bit jerky there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, I just light this little fellow up. It's got a little... I'm just going to use a lighter. Just make sure everything's tightened on properly. You, you just turn the little lever there. So you can adjust it onto fast, high, low, whatever. So... Now ideally you would be using a Well, you can see there 
That is some serious power. That's going flat out, that is. That is pretty impressive. So if you can hear me over that, that's, uh, that's the Coleman F1 Lite. Uh, it's available in all good outlets. Um, I actually purchased mine from a place called Circus and Outdoors. I'll put the link on there at the bottom. I uh, bought a lot of kit from there and it serves really good. They're based at a place called um, Kidderminster, which is down uh, in the West Midlands. Um, can't rate them highly enough, great uh, people. And uh, you can pick these up. I got mine, uh, I think it was about £12. It, was, it must have been an offer because I think they're normally about £18, £20. So uh, obviously the gas can of steep and pick those up anywhere. Um, right, I'm going to let this cook and uh, well, guys, back back. so as you can see it is absolutely whirring away there I think that's almost done now so uh, a little quick try and uh, have a little taste and see what it uh, is like I picked that up as well recently a little uh, German military KFS knife fork spoon so uh, we'll have a little try of uh, the pasta and see how it is It works! How cool is that? That's taken, what, obviously a bit of an edit in the middle. That's taken probably about three minutes to cut that. I don't think we could do it any quicker on the hob. Anyway guys, I'm going to enjoy. 